good. You gotta practice a little bit more. I think we're almost there. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Melt Yourself Down album. Melt Yourself Down. These guys are a UK based septet. This is their full length debut out on the Leaf label. An album that I just had to review after hearing a few tracks from it, especially the lead single off of this LP, Fix My Life. A track that was an electronic, funky, groove heavy, and kind of psychedelic presentation of sounds ranging from rock music to jazz, a little bit of punk, Middle Eastern music, African music. This record is an incredibly energetic blend of all of these sounds, uh, uh, blaring saxophones that, that play melodies that are a little kitschy here and there. The rhythm section of this thing with the drum kit and all the hand percussion, it's really polyrhythmic. Many of these tracks feature swirling, weird, very noisy electronic sounds. And the band also has an extremely energetic, over-the-top frontman who not only has a somewhat powerful voice and some nice range, but a lot of the tracks on this album feature him doing these really weird, out-of-the-box vocalizations. <laughs> All of these elements combined in a weird way actually makes me want to compare this group to artists like Ponytail or Man Man, the Budos band, Holy Fuck and Goat. Except I would say that Melt Yourself Down has a stronger international vibe to their music, much spicier, more exotic, even though there is sort of this western drive in the band I feel to be sort of straight and to the point, kind of accessible. Now as far as the band's performances on these tracks, they're thrilling to listen to. There is some serious energy just interplay to how these guys perform on these songs. Hearing a band play in a way that is this lively, it's just like a reminder that I am alive. I can taste and see and smell and feel and hear. It just feels so raw and just so in the moment, especially with the song release. The title of the track actually has an exclamation point at the end, which is well deserved considering all of the very sputtering electronics, the bass line, which rides a minor scale, all of the shouts and demonic horns. This song, a lot more than Fix My Life and some other tracks on here, is really a jam. The band really lets loose on this groove and builds the song into something that is just really c c c cacophonous and, and sort of trippy. Very visceral. And the song We Are Enough, it's a track that is loaded with distorted electronics. It's one of the few moments where the vocals are clearly singing in a definable language, English. Not to say that other languages are different difficult to understand, but it's pretty clear that there are moments on this album where the band's lead singer is is really just sort of making up gibberish. And with him singing, oh yeah, against this very thumpy bass line, this track easily is the most punked out on the entire album. It is the first moment on this LP though where I feel like the band borders on being obnoxious slightly, or maybe even a little one-dimensional, even though the first half of this album is really energetic, still the first four tracks on this LP, they, they sort of blend together. But Mel Yourself Down does work to diversify the second half of this release, like the song Free Walk, which is incredibly slow and relaxed. Other tracks on this album feel like a non-stop, half-naked dance party underneath a hundred degree sun. Meanwhile, this track is like an after-hours party in a tent, people are dancing, but it's a little chilled out, drinks are being served, there are lanterns, maybe there's a campfire. The song is really sort of romantic and, and sweet in a way. I love that the band, after playing so hard, can just sort of do this 180, totally change their tone, shoot for a different vibe, and achieve it in a lot of ways. I think the only shortcoming on this track is the band Singer, who is so bold and just so in your face that when they tone down a little bit on this track, it's not like he really reaches down to that level and does something as sweet. However, he does sound fine on the track Mouth to Mouth, which is a slower track, but definitely a more sinister one. With all of the primal drums and drones on this track, it's maybe the darkest on the entire LP. The band really goes from this sunset twilight situation to just pure musical voodoo in a matter of minutes. The track feels even crazier when the drummer is playing tons and tons of fills toward the back end of this track, which actually feel very heavy metal inspired. Overall, I have to say this self-titled LP for Melt Yourself Down is a very fun and mostly solid release. It has an incredibly impressive blend of ideas, great playing, production, and energy. I just feel that it being so short and just in this short amount of time 
a very small variety of ideas being presented kind of keeps it from being interesting from beginning to end. Because there is sort of a samey samey feel to a few of the tracks on here because of how straightforward the band's playing is from beginning to end on this thing. Really the most surprising thing consistently are the very strange and just noisy electronics. I'm feeling a light to decent 7 on this thing if you've given it a listen. What did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And, and that's it. This review is my opinion. If you don't like it, here's a straw. I want to give a shout out to Shoutouts, which I forgot to do in my last video. Kanye fans, I love you. Little B, Angela, and Jamil. Only the strong subscribe. All mistakes were intentional. Anthony Fantano, melt yourself down forever.